You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey there, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's a board game. Pretty neat. It's called Baseball Strategy. Now, this is an Avalon Hills game, formerly 3M. And how do we know that? Well, we have some history. And let's take a look at the outside of the box. It says, Bookcase Game. Now, we have other bookcase games. This is number 814. And then the back. Let me just gently flip it over. The pieces are kind of in there. So you take over as manager and coach catcher, hitter, you take over as manager and coach, catcher, hitter, general manager. Where's all the commas in there? It says two great games in one package, so there's a couple options here. Now, we went through the parts list on this. It's a little confusing in that they don't really specify certain pieces. It says playing board, and there's two playing boards. It says score pad, which we have set of six player pawn, pawns representing uh, base runners. Now we have seven, and they're two different colors. Two sets of roster cards, 25 in each set, those we have. Two sets of pitch cards, seven in each set, those, those we have. Handbook of official rules, which I'm holding, and the instruction folder. Hmm. So let me just show you the game boards. We always like to show you game boards. Now... They should have said two playing boards. There's one for one team, and then one for the other team. So let's just see that. Let's go a little higher here. All righty. So you have a defense chart on this side, and then the offense chart on this side, and the other board is kind of reversed. It's got the offense chart here and the defense chart here. Now they do match up in the middle, so that's it. Let me show you the other parts in here. We'll show you this curiosity. It's a catalog from Avalon. That's how we know it says formerly 3M in here. See? Reason enough for the recent acquisition by Avalon Hill of the entire 30 plus line of family games formerly published by 3M, Minnesota Mining Manufacturing. Now we have some of those games, so we'll show you that flyer in a little more detail. Here is the cards. There's 14 of these cards total. So one team gets one set of seven, the other team gets the other. So there's two-sided, so it's a pitch card, and it's a fastball. So there's those cards. And there's these shared cards. One team gets one set, the other team gets the other set. Right field, second base, gives you stats. So that those numbers equaled out. 25 roster and 25 of the team cards and the score pads are in here so that's in here there's this cool do us a favor so this game you know someone had not even uh, used this piece of paper here and there's two little bases to hold and then here's the pawn pieces so it said six huh very strange I was thinking there was six red, six white, but there's seven total, because it does say later on that you're going to mix the colored palm pieces, so let's get into that a little bit. I never played it, don't know much about it, so details of play. It says, on the offense chart, there are three long ball columns, wait, let's, we don't want details, we want how to start. Oh, that's it. Oh, basic play. Prepare for play. So by mutual agreement, determine who will manage the home and visiting teams. Home team player then determines ballpark size, small, average, or large, and makes proper written notation of the license line score in the score pad. Distribute the set of 25 roster cards to the home team, the set of 25 blue roster cards to the visiting team. Select the starting lineups and place the nine starting players in a stack face up on their respective spaces on the playing board. So there, here, it says the six plastic pawns are base runners. Assign one color as fast base runners and the remaining color as slow base runners. So white and red I'm assuming there. So when a team takes the field does not remove its players from the lineup area. There's no placement of cards in defense positions on the playing field. So it's a pretty intricate little game here. I can't really explain more to it. You'd have to get the game. So that's that. Those are the pieces that came with this baseball game. 
rules of play. There's the introduction and the equipment. And like I said, there was this cool Avalon Games brochure in there. And it takes you through some history. And then the games. Word Power, Twixt, which we've had a copy of in here. Owari, which we've had a copy. Facts in 5, we had a copy of that game. Acquire, we had a copy of that game. So pretty neat. I haven't seen some of these. There's Basketball, Football, Tactics 2, which is an army battle game. Africa Corpse, Diplomacy. The Parts List, which is kind of neat. This is 76 77 Parts List for these games. And what they cost. Oh, I like to order. We're missing a bell from a game. Someone did cut this. Oh, no, it's not. It's a folding envelope. Pretty neat. So they can fill it out, order parts, order games right through the mail. Isn't that neat? Panzer Leader, War Game 1776 up there. There's Panzer Leader. So pretty neat little flyer there. There was a die. Did I tell you die? And that's not on the parts list, so I'd have to read a little bit more to get more information on this and, you know, dig deeper into the game to really understand it. So those were the cards. Those were all accounted for. And then the other cards, pitching cards, are all accounted for. And then the two game boards. Let me just hold one up a little closer so you can kind of see what's this. So taking extra bases, this long belt and then this is look how detailed this information is on here look at all that information I don't know I'm sure someone's investigated and played this game and understands it we could read more and play more and get you more details at a later date for right now we're just showing you this cool game so that's it it's baseball strategy. Thanks for watching our eBay product video. And always remember if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.